when these chatbots and AI agents are trained on all this data and information, they're also guided by humans. And this is a process called reinforcement learning from human feedback. Right. This is how AI companies try to put guardrails on what their agents are able to output. So it won't, you know, tell somebody how to build a bomb. The human training that's being done by that, it's mostly done in the developing world. And it carries this enormous psychological cost for the people who are doing that training. They are exposed to the worst things mm. that these engines can produce. So all of that means that I really don't think that using these things as they exist now is ethically defensible. You know, we talked about the ethical concerns over the energy demand of these things, but there's the, the, this human ethical dimension as well, and over the theft basically, the scraping of all this copyrighted material uh, that they use to make them, to feed them. And what that reminds me of, actually, is how there's this big middle-class market for cocaine and people consuming it. They may be very ethical in other ways and buy, you know, organic produce or something, cut down on meat and then get their cocaine. You know, they ignore the, the back end, the human cost of cocaine production. And, and I feel like it's like that with these large language models.